Hey guys, so today I'm doing a gradient nail art tutorial. I've done this before, but it was only two colours and it included a design. So today I'm doing one with three colours um, and no design, it just looks really cool by itself. I wasn't sure how it was going to work out with the colours I chose, but I absolutely love how it did turn out. Um, and they blended together so nicely. So I used Nicole by RPI Daffy Dill. Um, I used Bikini Sotini by EC. And I used Petal to the Metal by China Glaze. And as you can see, they kind of blended together to make the green more of a yellow. And I think it looks really, really cool that way. So, yeah, that's it. Hope you like this video. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you later. After applying a base coat, apply one coat of your favourite white. I use Simple Colours Snowy White. Don't worry if the polish isn't completely opaque, as this is just providing a nice base so the polishes over the top will look nice and bright. For the next stage, you're going to want your nails to be very dry, so I've applied some Quick Dry Top Coat by Jordana to speed up the process. If you don't have any, you could just wait for maybe like 30 to 45 minutes for your polish to dry by itself. There are a few different ways you can do gradients, but I just find you get the best look and more control when you use a sponge. So I prefer wedge sponges like I've got here. You can also buy flatter sponges, but I find them really hard to hold. So what I just do is open up my packet and take one out. Make sure it's sealed afterwards because what you don't want is dust on your sponge. Give your sponge a quick check over just to check there isn't any dust in it. And if there is, just kind of brush it away a little bit. If you have dust on your sponge and you're using a lighter colour, you will see the dust more than you can see the colour, which is really, really annoying. Open the lids of all three of your polishes and have them all ready for doing a design. It's best to have them open just because it means you can go from one bottle to the next without worrying about the polish drying in between. Now for the fun part. Apply three stripes of your polishes onto a plastic lid or in my case a metal palette. Make sure it's the right size to cover your nail, not too big and not too small. Then get something with a small end such as this little brush I'm using and combine the colours on each side. Make sure you wipe the brush in between otherwise it could combine the wrong colours. Carefully dab the sponge into the polish. And there you go. As you can see, I haven't got much green on this one, but I can fix it up next time. Apply it onto your nail by rolling from one side to the other, then lightly dabbing. This is where it's really important that your nail is dry enough, otherwise the white will come off with the sponge. Make sure you don't press too hard. So that's the basic method. Once you've done all of one hand, you can go back over once it's dry and make it more opaque. And here we are. So as you can see it does get quite messy so what you want to do is dip a cotton wool bud in nail polish remover and clean up around the outside of your cuticles. It can be easy to remove if you have used some Vaseline and applied it around the outside of your fingernails first but the issue I see with that is that oils and nail polish do not mix very well so if any of the oil from the Vaseline gets onto your nail it might make it lift and peel quicker. Before I do even more detailed cleaning up, I'm going to apply a top coat. This is up to you when you want to apply this really, but I just chose to do it then. Um, top coats are really cool for gradients because they blend the colours together even more and make it much more merged and pretty and sunset-like. Normally when applying a top coat over nail art, I'd suggest only two or three strokes, but when it's a gradient, more is actually quite good because it really blends it together beautifully. up around the outside of my cuticles I use a small brush dipped in acetone or nail polish remover. This isn't essential, I just do it because you know I take photos of my nails and post them to the internet. But you know you can just rub it off in the shower if you like. It does make it cleaner looking if you do use a brush and also can prevent peeling, but up to you. And here's the finished look. I hope you liked this video and if you did please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I've got heaps more tutorials coming. Tag me on Instagram at nailed.nz for all your recreations. I would love to see them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.